we will build a digital tachometer for a lathe or a mill. The circuit is simple, but the C program is tricky. Whenever the hall sensor changes its signal, an interrupt is triggered. Measured is every second. We'll test the circuit first with an Arduino Uno. Then we implement it as a self-made circuit. The centerpiece is an Atmga 328P microcontroller, which is triggered by a hall sensor and a magnet. A timer measures every second. Finally, we'll work with an Arduino Nano. The red LED is only there for control. This is what the circuit looks like. The hall sensor, here a Hamlin 55100, 3H, supplied by Conrad Electronics, triggers interrupt 0, that is pin 2. The display is made with a 4-way 7-segment display, which is controlled by a TM1637. In contrast to mechanical switches such as reed contacts, which can also be triggered by magnets, hall sensors have no bouncing, which is always stressful with digital circuits. The interrupt reacts to change, that means two impulses when the magnet passes. So we just have to multiply by 30. Since only whole pulses can be counted, the display fluctuates by plus minus 30. After the circuit and the program work so far, we start building a self-made circuit so that it is as compact as possible. Of course you could have used a very small Arduino Nano. This will follow at the end. But as a studied mechanical engineer with little knowledge of electronics, I wanted to build such a basic circuit myself directly with a microcontroller. Beer bottle is only for size comparison. Okay, our own circuit seems to be working. Making a thread to attach the magnet.
making a bracket for fastening the hall sensor from 3mm aluminum sheet. To program the 328P, an ISP is connected that is connected to the computer via USB. For testing purposes we take the good old Myford lathe from merry old England. This lathe is really great. With my conversions, I always make sure that you can backgrade at any time. For those who don't know yet, this is my private cellar workshop, not my much larger institute workshop with the University of Bayreuth. Moving the V-belt can be that easy compared to some bench drills from the Far East. Now let's give it real speed. This is the highest speed the machine can produce. Ok, the plain bearings of the spindle would probably not take much more. Now we attach two more magnets, so a total of three. This increases the resolution. Do you see the three magnets? Sure, without program correction, three times the speed is now displayed. So modify the program and reload it. It's a bare 328 microcontroller.
so the executable program must now be shot into the flash memory of the 328 via the SPI bus with a programmer. This is only possible comfortably via the USB bus with a real Arduino, which converts USB to SPI bus with an extra chip. This features in fact a genuine Arduino. The Myford's back gear is engaged. This allows very low speeds, for example for thread cutting. See how the displayed speed fluctuates by plus or minus 10 revolutions. You can see how easy it is to build a digital rev counter, a speedometer or even a digital ignition system for a car or motorcycle. All of this can of course be bought ready made, but you, dear students, should learn something. You will still be able to use it. Now let's make the whole thing a little more professional and at the same time simpler. We use six small magnets in an aluminum ring so that the lathe chuck is not magnetized unnecessarily. The circuit becomes easier with an Arduino Nano. Making an aluminum ring for the six magnets. Fixing the magnets with epoxy glue. Test run with a breadboard circuit.
The final circuit. Prepare a housing for the circuit. Two magnets will fasten the housing. The Nano can now be programmed directly via the USB interface.